Today we're in Annapolis, Maryland to get a look at the brand new Genoa 380. It's a performance cruiser and it's the smallest and newest member of the Sun Odyssey walk around series. It's just a little over 35 feet and is available in multiple cabin and keel configurations. It'll be interesting to see how this compares to our 440. So we got early access to the Genoa Sun Odyssey 380 and I'm gonna give you guys a tour. Come on aboard. Okay. Right now I'm at the helm station. Um, it could very easily be operated by one person. As you can see, the winch is right here. Very easy to get to. Uh, let's see, you got your light controls here. You have the bow thruster and the, this is for the anchor, chart plotter, radio, and even a compass. It's very nice. And here's the throttle. Sit down, see how it feels. Not bad. I would like it if it went over some more though, but then that would take away from the swim platform. Janot's walk around is a gently sloping deck moving forward from the helm station. It's designed to improve safety by making it easier to move around the boat. Now the 380 has a little bit tighter spacing on the shrouds than we have on our 440, but Patricia still makes it to the front of the boat with no problem. And likewise, getting back to the helm is just a quick duck under the bimini and she slides right in place. Okay. Mm. This is a very spacious cockpit for a boat this size. Very nice. And in here they have a Storage for two wine bottles. I think that's enough wine for us. No, but it's okay for like storing in the cockpit. Let's see these tables, how they fold out. Okay. Oh, there's a little lever down here to hold the table up. This isn't bad. Not bad. And you know what? It's so easy to get in and out of this. Look at this. That's nice. It's a nice high table. Okay. Oh, right now the cushions are up. It was raining yesterday, so just another winch, another winch, more lines. Let's go inside. Coming down the companionway stairs, welcome into the galley. It's like an L shape. Uh, let's see, very spacious oh. fridge right here. I think you need to look inside this thing. Very deep. Could fit a, fit a lot of stuff in there. Got to organize it so you got the stuff you want to eat first on top, though. Let's see what's in here. Uh, storage. Probably put some cups in there. Some shelves. Little two burner gimbal stove. Storage below the stove. Oh, that is nice. You could fit some really big pots and pans down here. I'm kind of jealous of this. Cavu does not have that nice of storage underneath the stove. Uh, let's see, and then what's in here? Oh, another shelf and a little trash can. can. And that get, that's your gas control for the stove. Okay. And then uh, back here is a cabin. 
It's got a little bit better headroom than the 440. Nice. Oh, look at this. This is a nice ventilation. You got a hatch here and a hatch there for cross ventilation. That's clever. So here's a little light, a little ring light for the bed. And then in here is a closet. That's a decent size. Okay, let's take a look in the other aft cabin. Very similar, very similar. Um, let's look in the closet. All right, that's decent. And they have the little cabinets here too, all the way across. And let's take a look at the engine. All right, a Yanmar. They got the little side compartments you can access the sides of the engine. You could either get a Yanmar 29 horsepower or 40 horsepower. Okay, so behind this door is a head. It's a wet head, but if you get the two cabin, two head version, this whole room becomes a shower. That would be a massive shower. Just look at these cabinets in here. Oh, that's a good little cabinet for products. And I don't think that's probably where the tank is, if I had to guess. But down here you have more storage. Ooh. That's nice. Okay. And then here's the nav station. Now some people might not like this because it doesn't face forward. But they didn't skip out on the electronics here. You got the radio. The inverter control. They got the VHF radio. And the little control panels. And the clock. And of course the barometer. These come in all Janelle boats. I think they only come with certain packages, but. Okay. We got one in ours. Well, it's very important. If you want a real to know, you get one that comes with the clock and the barometer. And then this lifts up. Very nice. But I kind of like this here because it can also act as a, you know, like a little side table for your beverage. Okay, so this is the lounge chair. If I had one of these, this is where I'd be lounging out. Look how nice and long it is. And you even got like armrest. This is really nice. And storage up here. Just got to make sure you don't put things on the speaker. Um, or the AC vents there too. Let's see how this table looks. Now. Oh, it has little swing outs. There. Ooh, that's sturdy. That's really sturdy. That's a good idea. This is a big table. I think this is bigger than the, the 440 table. Um, wow. And then, ta-da! Guess what's in there? More wine storage. Okay, let me get this down so people can walk around it. And then I, all these, how do I lift this up? Oh, this is a big drawer. I don't wanna lift it up and mess up the, the pillows though. <laughs> so we got storage under here too. What about the wine cellar? Oh, and then guess what? 
Another wine cellar. They did not cut out the wine cellar in this boat. Plenty of wine storage. I think what they're trying to tell us is if you sail, you need to drink wine. Yeah, so definitely on a French boat. And oh, another feature I really like about this boat is that the bilges, like a majority of the floor panels have these little latches. So, so it's very easy to access all your bilges. Like there is an access handle, 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 handle. All of them. It's brilliant. Okay. Why is there a sticker here? Shh. Oh, the double doors. The double doors. How was I going to forget about the double doors? Ta da! And guess what? This is the non working door. So you latch that up there and it stays put. And then guess what's over here? Another head. So these doors aren't constantly hitting each other. <laughs> that was a great design. A little squeaky. Um, so this is the head in the Ford cabin. It's a wet head. Not my favorite. But on a boat this size, it's better to have a wet head than no head. Nice storage. I do feel like they really maximize the storage in this boat while still keeping it light and airy. And then more storage. Very nice. The bed. The bed is almost a rectangle. There is a little curve right here, but you could probably get away with normal sheets. Of course, that's going to be on my side. <laughs> oh, and the windows are very nice. These are very big windows. Wish they opened, though. You do have this hatch right here that opens up. But yeah, it's a, it's a really nice boat for its size, for sure. And the closets. All right. Ooh, yeah, look at that little latch. Yeah, it's not a magnet. It's not a magnet. That's cool. I like That's that. Hold it better. Definitely. It's like they, they totally made some improvements on this model for sure. We'll leave you with a quick walkthrough of the cab and I'm going to put some details about the boat in the description below. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next week.